This is inch perfect engineering. Fantastically exciting. And this is what it's all about working in Capital Program. We have a substation underneath our feet here in Leicester Square, and it's got three grid primary transformers. All three transformers are, are aged and they need to be replaced. The transformers beneath us have been powering London for about 30 years. Uh, they've been doing a really good job keeping the energy on and driving the economy of Leicester Square. Uh, but they've done their time now, they've done their service, and they're now to be uh, replaced with some nice shiny brand new ones to continue that economic drive for London. And over my shoulder over here, you can see a 500 tonne crane just about manoeuvring into position. We assess the ground. We've had a specialist crane company come in. We spoke to the Westminster, we've got the trees trimmed and prepped in time to allow the boom to come in. We've got a root protection system down for the crane. So yeah, we've, we've carried out a great deal of work in the last week to make this happen. The 500 tonne crane will be coming in. It will set out four posts to spread its load, so whatever it is lifting can be counterbalanced and the operation will be carried out safely. That will lift out the old transformer at around one-ish. Around two-ish, the new transformer will be lowered in and then the, the space will be emptied, made safe for the public tomorrow morning. There was a lot of careful planning for today's work. It, it's a big operation and it's been a fast operation, but that doesn't mean any corners were cut. We are replacing Transformer GT3 and we've, uh, we, we've accelerated our works. And by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, we should have an old Transformer out and a new one in. We've had to accelerate the works, we've had to change our plan, but we're able to do that, we're agile. Yes, we'd like a bit more time, but we've managed to get this in, and obviously doing it at night is to minimise disruption to the local community here, and to make sure that we get in, get it down, get out. Uh, and the reason we've done this is to, it allows us to replace GT3 around about two to three weeks sooner than we would have done with the old proposal, and return our network to full resilience much sooner than it would have been otherwise and that's why we're taking the decision to do this work.